What's up Prime Drivers? Today I'm going to take you through a quick recovery session. Something just to get the blood pumping, uh, get your heart rate up a little bit, maybe wake you up if you're tired. So this is going to be a quick 15 minute piece we're going to do outside the truck. You can do it anywhere. We're just going to do it in or around the truck. So we're going to get started off here and I'm going to take you through stuff and, and kind of explain it as we go. So starting off, we're just going to do each of these for a minute. So the first thing, give it option. So I'll say this before we get started. You can walk around the truck for this first thing, but just to make it a little bit more uh, visually friendly, I'm actually going to take you through some leg swings instead. So start off, let's get going here, and you'll need a band. So I got my band here, and we're just going to go back and forth. We're going to do 30 seconds each leg. Like I said, you could also walk around your truck too. You can walk and march in place. Um, we got some options here because Really what we want is to get the blood flowing and to get the muscles loosened up. This is more of a dynamic warm up here. So this is great for hamstring flexibility and hip flexor flexibility at the front of the leg and to get the muscles warmed. Okay, switch. So you can, help, you can face whatever way you want to, but I like to hold on to this. You don't have to, but for those of us that are balanced and paired, it helps a little bit. Nice and easy, staying right here. About 10 more seconds. And then we're gonna do walking high knee hugs. So we'll put this down here. And three seconds. Good, all right, so walking high knee hugs are gonna simply be like this and pulling it up here a lot of times the hip isn't centered in the joint very good, so pulling it up and pulling it in kind of helps to center that the socket in that hip joint a little bit better. A big problem with sitting so often is you get what's called FAI, femoral acetabular impingement, which typically is just like a hip impingement because this hip isn't in the socket very well. So for this, we're pulling in towards yourself and up and doing that is not only going to work on your balance but also going to work on centering that hip into the socket a little bit better too if you feel like a pinch when you do that that probably means you're hitting that wall in your hip socket okay next one minute quad stretch so we're going to go 30 seconds per side so we're going to do this right here if you need to another option is to loop it, loop it and swoop it right there. So if you can't get it, put your foot in it, around it, and pull it up. It's not gonna be as good of a stretch, but you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So right here, we're gonna do a few more seconds. And as I say that, I talk too much and I'm already done. So next, let's go to the other side here. And I'm just gonna hold this one up here for about 30 seconds. Fantastic stretch right there, that rectus femoris. Very tight whenever you sit down a lot. So this is a great one to kind of loosen that muscle up. Heck, you could even probably sit right there. That's great, actually. Yeah, now we're talking. You can use your truck to your advantage and just pull it up. You gotta be creative. Okay, good. Next, we're gonna do cross-body shoulder stretches. So just a cross body, meaning just right here. And we're gonna make this kind of a dynamic stretch. So do a little shake out, go back to this side. So just back and forth, kind of going back into some extension. So going from there to right there. We did about a minute of these. And then we're gonna do some monster walks with our band here in a second. All right, so keep doing those. I'm gonna take you through how to get set up for these while you're doing them. So, if you got a band like this, just, just sweep it over twice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down here. We're gonna keep our, our knees pointed out over the toes. And then from here, you're just gonna take big, long steps, kind of like uh, Frankenstein, you know, monster walks. So from here, about a quarter squat, and then knees pointed out. You don't wanna come in here like this and have your knees collapsed. You wanna pull, push out, 
and push out, keep your feet wide. It's gonna light up the outside of those hips right there. So now we'll walk backwards. We'll do 30 seconds forward, 30 seconds backwards, and then we'll, we're gonna rotate this twice. So that was one round, got about 20 seconds left. So wide stance, partially squatted down. These are fantastic to light up the outside of those hips. Great for those muscles you sit on. Okay, get a quick drink if you need to. We're gonna go back through that stuff. So starting off with a lap around the truck, starting right now, or leg swings. So we're gonna go right here for our leg swings. And like I said, this isn't supposed to get you gassed. So don't work at max capacity. You don't need to kill yourself every workout, but you do have to recover. The older I get, the more I realize that recover is essential, whether it's sleep or just a routine like this to get the blood pumping. They don't all have to kill you. Okay, other side here, so we'll just stay right here. After this, we're gonna go into the walking high knee hugs. So about 30 seconds each side. Okay, couple more. Let's do one and two. Good, okay. High knee hugs. So plant this foot down, pull in and up. Same thing, nice and easy. In and up. In and up. If you can't balance, have something here. Maybe you could just kind of hold on to if you need it. But balance is crucial too. So the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. So practice it. Right, 30 seconds left, in and up. Let's do this one and then one more. All right, let's go to our quad stretch. So 30 seconds each side. We're gonna do this right here. If you want it to be harder, you can kick this foot out a little bit and put your hands back here if you got it and then sink down. I actually like this. Great quad stretch and you get some shoulder extension if you can get your shoulders back here to hang on with. But you can also do it the other way too by just grabbing it or grabbing it with the band, so whatever works for you. Oh man, I just wanna sit there for a while. All right, other side. Go back up here, right side. All right, got about a minute left after this. A couple exercises for our, until we hit round three. Okay, good. Let's transition and let's do cross body shoulders. So right here. Right here. Nice and easy. And heck too, if you want to go back to some, if this felt good on your shoulders and your back, go back to something like this too. You could even come right here and just sink down right there. And oh man, the back of that feels great. So if you feel something working more than something else whenever you're doing this, then stick with it. We're all made differently. All right, let's do a couple more. One, two. All right, let's double this bad boy up. Around the ankles it goes. And out and then step forward, 30 seconds forward, 30 seconds backwards, keeping the feet straight, knees out over the toes. Let's go backwards.
Okay, forward again. We got about 20 seconds left. So let's try to get to the end here. Do a couple more forward and then we'll go backward. And backward. Keeping the feet wide. Wide the whole time. Good, a couple more. Excellent. All right, get a drink if you need to. We're gonna do one more round of that. So, starting off with our leg swings here. 30 seconds per side, about four minutes left. Nice and easy. Fantastic job. If you can, even try to go with no bar on this for balance, that's fantastic too. Okay, other side. So let's just stay here. Challenge my balance here. A little tighter on this side, a little harder to do. This is a great one. If you're ever running, this is a fantastic run warm up because you're mimicking those same movements as you do running. Okay. Good. Next, we'll do minute walking high knees, starting now. This is a full body routine today. So remember to pull in and up. You need to lean against this, lean against it, and pull in and up. And you can even do the same one over and over again while you're leaning against it too. Thirty seconds left here. Then three exercises left, starting with a quad stretch. Here in about twenty seconds. All right, and let's do one and two. Good. All right, let's get into our quad stretch. We'll go right leg first here. And then just right here on this. Nice and easy. Take some deep breaths if you can. I know you might be out of breath, but that's okay. Deep breaths in and out. Help to get more oxygen in the bloodstream and relax you a little bit. All right, switch sides here left side all right 10 seconds left and then we're gonna go to some shoulder cross bodies and end it with our monster walks Excellent, excellent. So, one minute, nice and easy. Back and forth here. Now, if you're really crunched for time, you could try the exercise of the day. If you don't have time for all this, or what I would do is I would just do one round of this, and then maybe one round later in the day, the last round maybe at night. This is a good routine to where you can break it up throughout the day and it's not gonna throw you off too much because it's a little bit lower intensity. Okay, 20 seconds left. Time flies when you're having fun listening to me, doesn't it? All right. Double it up here. Get your band set up going. Let's hit it. Last round, your glutes may be on fire. We're gonna set it up right above, right above that ankle bone down there, that malleoli. So we'll go forward just a few steps here. We'll hit about 15 seconds forward and 15 seconds backwards. And we'll do that twice. You probably feel your glutes and your hips on the outside are just lit up and that's good. Those are some good muscles to take care of. Okay, forward again. All 
All right, let's do a couple more. We got five seconds left. Boom. 15 minutes on the dot. That's your recovery day for your Fit and 15 workout of the day.